Hey guys, welcome to the get ready. I currently just got out of the shower and I'm actually applying, just finishing applying a fresh coat of Loving Tan. This is my favorite tanner in the world. And I'm just finishing off like blending it on my hands and my feet and my face. So um, I'm gonna finish up applying the tan. I am using the shade Ultra Dark. This is my favorite tanner ever. And then we're gonna start hair and makeup after this. See you in a second. Guys, welcome to the get ready. I just clipped my hair back and I'm in my kitchen just because I get the best light here. And sorry, it's not very aesthetically pleasing, but you're gonna be able to see me the best. So I'm starting off with some foundation. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Foundation. This is in the shade Brown Sugar. And as you guys just saw, I put on a fresh coat of Loving Tan. So I want, this is like definitely a darker color, but it matches me when I'm tan. So I have a few shades, but Brown Sugar is good for when I'm looking really bronzy, which is my favorite way to look. Um, so yeah, I mix that with a drop of the MAC Prep and Prime Essential Oils. I obviously love this stuff, and I like to mix this with my foundation a lot um, because it will give it like a more natural look or help it blend in really well. So this foundation, for instance, is super thick, full coverage, and like tacky, and it's really hard to like blend out if, um, if it doesn't have like oil mixed in so that like really tends to help it spread over the face and also gives it a little bit more of a glow because i don't like to look too matte but the reason i'm applying this foundation today is because i'm going to be filming my 2018 favorites video and i'm also going to go take some instagram photos with hunter so i want to make sure that for photo and video um Fuller coverage tends to look really good. Natural makeup sometimes, I mean, it does look pretty, but um, I'm sure if you know, if you create content like for photos and video, you just need a little bit more makeup on for it to show up on camera because it just looks like you're not wearing anything. You could wear the heaviest makeup ever and you'll be like, looks like I'm wearing nothing, it's crazy. Or even like, if you're not, I'm sure like in your wedding, photos if you had heavier makeup and you looked at your wedding photos and it just looks like natural and perfect that's exactly what i'm talking about so anyway it's blending this all over the face it's a nice caramely brown color see and yes this is our first get ready of 2019 which is very exciting uh hunter and i just got back from hawaii which was the best trip ever. Um, if this goes up before those vlogs go up, we are working on them. Hunter's slaving away at the vlogs. He likes to put a lot of time and effort into them. And you guys know, like he loves picking out like good music and he really likes editing. So we like to put time into that. And it's not just like you can whip it out in like a day. Um, it just takes longer than that. So thank you for being patient. We also have full-time jobs, so we have to balance both, which is hard, but um, vlogs are coming soon. And there's probably gonna be at least two parts and possibly three. So that's very exciting. Um, okay, moving on to concealer, my fave. The Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is the best concealer I've ever used. I'm in love with it. It's so good. It's like full coverage, but hydrating and flawless. Like I can't describe it. It doesn't make you look old. Like I find that a lot of full coverage concealers like add age because of the matteness. It makes your under eyes look like crepey or mattified and I just don't like it. So I love this concealer so much and I'm in the shade light beige i like to blend it with a brush first this is my favorite brush for concealer it's the spore collection pro airbrush number 57 i will link everything in the description box so for those of you who uh follow me know that i actually work from home 
and I work a full-time job as a social media manager and I uh, try to kind of get ready for the day. I don't always put on makeup, but a lot of the times I'm also creating content for YouTube here and taking Instagram photos like around my schedule. So I like to be ready when I can. So I thought this would be perfect to do like a get ready with me for work because this is like my work. So um, I'm basically, it's early in the morning and I'm planning on filming before st work starts. So I do try to do, I work like Pacific Coast hours and so I don't start work till 11. So I can usually film a video or two or a couple before I start. If I get up at like seven, I have like a couple of hours to do stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. And then later on, either on our lunch break or maybe after work, Hunter and I are gonna go take Instagram photos. So this is how I like to get ready. And this is honestly like, I would, when I worked in the office, I would do my makeup every day in the car because Hunter and I would carpool and he would drive and I would do my makeup every day. If you go back and watch like my old videos, you'll um, see me doing my makeup in the car all the time, which was funny, but it's actually like the best lighting. So kitchen is kind of the same thing. This is the Cover FX setting powder. I love this stuff. Much more lightweight than something like Laura Mercier. Um, but I do want to try a few new setting powders I have my eyes on um, that are even more lightweight. I think the Marc Jacobs coconut powder and the Hourglass powder I've heard are just like super lightweight. So I would prefer that even more because I don't like a super heavy translucent powder. I just feel like it looks chalky and can add like age, I feel like. So I'm going to set that in all the places I use my concealer. Bada boom. My skin is kind of breaking out from Hawaii, so I literally ate whatever I wanted. Um, so I think it's reacting a little bit to me, but I'm trying to get back on the train. I'm juicing and making healthy food and stuff. You guys stay tuned, we're weekly vlogging. Um, so all that stuff will be shown there. But now setting my whole face with Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush, False Airbrush Finish Powder just to set my face. This I find really helps like all of my bronzers and blushes blend a lot better. So this is essential and it's a really lightweight powder because I don't want to add really a ton of coverage. So I'll just set everywhere else that I didn't set the translucent with and just kind of do a light layer. So that looks good. Okay, before I move on, I'm just gonna spray with like a hydrating mist to just melt that into my face. This one is for collection. Just have it here on hand. But my favorite is, of all time, the MAC Prep and Prime, or the MAC Fix Plus. I love that one. It's just in the other room and I don't feel like going to get it, so. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna set my brows really quick. Same. Set my brows really quick while that dries. This is Anastasia Brow Gel. And on a daily basis, I like the Sephora collection, but this one for my brows, uh, since they're really thick and crazy, I just find that it really like holds them. It's basically like eyebrow glue and it, they stay exactly where you put them and nothing changes. Oh, I should have done my primer, but I didn't do that. Oh well. Okay, so moving on to, let's see here what I wanna do. Been loving so many new products lately. I like don't know where to start. So many good ones. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna do my ride or die bronzer. This is Anastasia in the shade Rosewood. dry yes this will dry okay what i've been liking to do lately is actually kind of contour my nose so i just use like a fluffy brush <clears throat> something a little bit smaller and i just run the bronzer kind of down the side of my nose a little bit underneath i don't know it's just like a light contour it's nothing too crazy but i find that it actually does make a difference in photos so I like that and then I'm going to apply a little bit on my cheeks
I like this brush because it really makes it look like airbrushed. It like hugs the cheekbone. And then I also do some on my forehead around the perimeter. Okay. For blush, I recently picked up this Milani Baked Bronzer and it's kind of like a pink tint. So I'm gonna use this as a blush. Nice and natural, pretty. Love that, gives a little glow. And then I am going to use my Dior highlighting palette. I love this so much. And I'm gonna go in with this gold color. My brushes have dog hair all over them. Classic. Okay, be right back. I have to do send an email really quickly. Okay. Um, okay, moving on to eyes. I want to keep it really simple because sometimes my eye makeup can tend to look kind of heavy in photos. So just taking my bronzer and really lightly pushing it through my crease. Actually, I'm going to go in with my Morphe Bronze Babe palette and take a little bit of this brown and kind of round out my outer corner a little bit. I did this when I did my sister's makeup in Hawaii and it looked so good. Next, I'm gonna create kind of like a soft, smoky liner with this really dark brown shadow and this little angled brush. What I like to do is get the brush like a little bit wet with some water and then coat it. And I love the way the soft, smoky brown liner looks. It looks so good. Okay, and then if you want to clean it up, I just kind of wipe off the brush and I get it wet again and I just go underneath the line, kind of like curve it out. That usually seems to fix it. Okay, that looks good. And now I need mascara. Bad Galbang by Benefit, so good. Just take a second to dry, but look at it compared to with and without. It's amazing. And I like to usually just apply it on the top lashes. I don't know why. I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit more lifted and awake. I have just been liking the way that that looks lately. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this white highlighter and pop it in the inner corner. And let's move on to lips. Um, so Hunter and I have been coming up with a few really fun ideas for series this year. And we've got some good stuff coming. So stay tuned. And we're also going to be announcing soon in a spritz and chips um, a little special announcement about vlogging. Because I know everyone was really sad that vlogmas ended and we kind of came up with a little bit of a uh solution i guess you could say for how we're going to continue that so stay tuned hold on i need to brush my teeth and i'll be right back okay sorry i'm gonna go in with mac strip down lip liner a little liquid lip on top lately and I find that it really makes it stay. So this is the Kat Von D bow and arrow. Do a little 
light layer. Just lasts so much longer. I still put gloss over it for like a glossy finish. It's probably good, I don't want it to be too dark. And then the Samantha Gloss by Boxum. Okay. Here's the makeup in real light. See, it's kind of a nice natural lip. Kind of grayish, isn't it? Anyways, it's cute. I like it. Um, okay, I have to go do a few things and then I'm going to come back and we'll do hair later. We'll kind of finish that up, but I might like look a little bit different or be in a different setting because I'm probably gonna come back in about an hour or so. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later and I ended up not doing my hair at all. Um, I just left it straight and let it air dry. So sorry for the mislead, the miss, the mislead? The mislead, <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Um, anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for the get ready. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned. Hawaii vlog is coming sooner than you think. So I'm not gonna tell you when, but keep your eyes peeled. Bye.